One in five people now have the first dose of the COVID vaccine here in Illinois. The hope is the mass vaccination site at the United Center will help accelerate that. What we found there is still so much confusion among our own leaders even over how many appointments are left and who can still sign up. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hake can join us live. Megan, this was opening day. Right, Brad and Erica, day one, the patients that we talked to were very happy with their experience, but between scheduling errors and eligibility changes, there were still some questions about just how many doses are left. They were so efficient. We were out of here in 30 minutes. And it takes, what, 20, 25 minutes altogether for us. I mean, and you got in and out before your time was even scheduled. They took you early, right? Right. You can't really tell with the masks on, but it was all smiles from Schomburg resident Donna Archer and Hegwish resident Ricardo Ayala today. Two of the lucky patients to get a shot on the first day of operations at the United Center mass vaccination site. Both were automatically booked for their follow up shots. The second shot is three weeks from today, which is March 30th at 1:15, the same time. So you're already booked. Second one is booked. We're booked, yeah. But when it comes to just how many people can still sign up to get the shots here, there was confusion. We heard three different figures. All of the 110,000 initial appointments are already booked. I believe that there are 40,000 people that have signed up so far. It's in the 50,000-ish range uh, that has been completely filled. We're settling on the number from Chicago's public health commissioner. We were hoping to get an update on when appointments could reopen to suburban Cook County residents, but she said those plans are still in the works. It was not easy to get the appointment, okay. but once you get the appointment, no problem. While most of the folks we spoke to gave the process two thumbs up, we saw others get turned away. And I don't have any paperwork because I didn't know I needed to print any out. So you were turned away? So they told me you've got to go away. Yes. Was that a little bit heartbreaking after all the work you did to get this appointment? That's right. It's uh, sort of tough. I had to take off work. Thankfully, Chicago resident Phil Robert retrieved his confirmation and was then able to get his shot today. But he wanted to remind our viewers not to show up without proof of your appointment. Again, we heard that from several patients today and the city reiterated, bring a copy of your confirmation email, print or digital to your appointment. In all, 185,000 people are expected to be vaccinated at this site in the coming weeks. Brad? CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey. Megan, thank you.